aboard. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Hey guys, me ho Superzor, thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! It's Vice Admiral Rampart. So guys, this is Vice Admiral Rampart, a part of the Bad Batch series. As you can tell, he's number 8 in the collection. You can tell he's from the Bad Batch series because of that lovely dark red that runs across the box there and onto the side. I love that. Loving that art piece as well, the views on the side there, and the same one that is on the back. It's nice to get another Admiral in the collection. It's nice to get another Imperial Officer character, as we don't get too many regular clothed officers. We tend to get a load of troopers, so it is nice to get some more Empire-style Officers and you know things like that to add, add to our collection. Plus, this guy comes with the little MSE droid. I haven't seen the MSE droid in a long time. Didn't it come? <coughs> Didn't it come in one of the Galaxy's Edge packs a long time ago? If I remember rightly, I think it came in the Kylo Ren set, right? I haven't seen that since. If anyone else can cor can correct me, if that's come on in any other set recently, because as far as I'm aware, that's the first time we've seen that in since the Galaxy's Edge one, right? But anyway, it's Vice Admiral Rampart from Bad Batch. Like I said in the last video when I was looking at the other trooper, I've actually been re-watching Bad Batch recently. So it's cool to, to get this character in hand now and to be able to take an up-close personal look at him. So let's go ahead and break him out of the packaging. Alright, we need the smaller end of my skills. Boom. 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 Kids, be careful when using scissors. Always consult the parent. Boom. Boom. He's free! So it's one of these new fancy black black series that has a little slip cover on the front. And we've got his little side arm here. Nice looking gun. Oh, the MSE droid! I'm so glad we've got an MSE droid. He's gonna go stand with all my droids, as you can see. I'm not sure if you can see behind me right now. Um, got all my horror stuff there. But if I turn the camera that way, I've got all my droids sort of situated along here. So I can't wait to add little MSE to the collection. Nice. I do love a good MSE droid. I like droids in general. Droids are my favorite part of Star Wars. Always has been. Okay, figures out. Slip cover on. Back in the box. We don't need the box anymore because I unbox things so you don't have to. And guess what? We don't need the box, so yeet! <laughs> All right, guys, here is Rampa out of the packaging. Looking pretty cool. I'm loving that face sculpt, first of all, guys. That face sculpt is pretty good. I'm loving that. The actual character himself on the TV series is very cool. I'm waiting to see what they do with him, though, because obviously we're going to need um, the guy from Rebels. You know, he's going to be taking over soon, isn't he, as, as, as Admiral? I know, he's ca is he captain? I can't remember now, it's been a while. Uh, but yes, the figure itself is very nice. There's a little issue that I'm not too fam I'm not too fond of right now on the head. On the top of the head, you can see where the plastic joins, which I'm not a big fan of, which you can see that on the camera, but there's like a faint line that runs all the way across. <coughs> As you can see where they've stuck the figure together. <laughs> And there's a little bit of warping on that, and the plastic on that side needs sanding down. Um, other than that, though, the figure looks absolutely good. Um, there's a little bit of excess plastic around the joints. Again, she needs sanding off. <coughs> but either way, very cool new figure. So we can make him look up a little bit. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. So you can make him look up and down left and right a little bit. There's a little bit of a head wobble there, but again... You can't really lift his head up that far, really. It's a bit annoying. You can't really look up. Um, he can look down a little bit. Not too much, though. I'm not really digging that. Heads, the, it could... The, 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 I mean, like, Marvel Legends look all the way up. Why can't you? It's from the same company. Anyway, arms lift out of this side hinge and also rotate. There's the single hinged little elbows here that also rotate. I hate those elbows. They always feel like they're going to snap. I hate them. I have hated these elbows on Black Series for a long time now. Uh, but yeah, they're all right. You can crunch him forwards, backwards, left and right a little bit there with a nice swivel. Legs do lift out. Uh, doesn't These little side skirts do have little slits in them, so it doesn't really stop his legs from moving out. There's also the top thigh cut there. <clears throat> and he does. And this figure does come with double hinged knees, which is nice. 
Um, be careful with your double hinge knees though, always make sure you warm them up and don't just yank them because sometimes if you just if you tease them a little bit they will just pop off but sometimes if you put too much pressure you can separate the plastic at the knee black series are renowned for that as well so be careful but yeah double hinge knees no boot cut but the feet are on rocker and pivot and there are display holes should you wish to use a display base so he does come with a single ooh, a single blaster which you can place into his hands which is pretty nice no holster to put it in though when he's done, which is dead irritating. I would have liked a nice little side holster, but I suppose that's not in keeping with the character from the from the uh, the, you know, the design of the outfit. Yeah, it would have been nice to have a little holster to put it in when you're done. Uh, but for me, one of the highlights of this figure is the fact that we're getting another um, officer, another Imperial clothed officer, because <coughs> we don't get too many of them. I'll place him down on the desk cam for now. But as well, we do get the awesome little MSE droid. Now, I do love a good droid, so it's nice to finally get an MSE droid in the collection. Like I was saying in the beginning, I'm not sure if this has come with any other character packs. <clears throat> I've personally not got an MSE droid, so I don't know if this has come with anyone else. I think last time an MSE droid was used, it was with the Kylo Ren pack for Galaxy's Edge, but I may be wrong on that. Someone can correct, correct me in the comments that have been collecting longer than me. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little droid. It's... Um, it's got like a metallic -y feel to it, but I don't think, I think it's just plastic. But it does have like a metallic -y look and feel to it, which is nice. Um, it's not die cast though. It doesn't feel die cast. But I'm, I am really liking the little droid. It does look perfect. It looks just like the little MSE droids. So it's got little wheels as well, so you can sort of roll him around, which I'll show you on the desk cam. But yeah, perfect little droid to go with an Imperial officer. So I'm happy with that. You know, I really wish they would go back and make Black Series figures for Star Tours. Uh, Star Tours is the ride in Disney World. And they made loads of three inch figures back in the day. I would love for them to make a vintage droid series. That would be so cool and get all those little droids again. For six inch. That'd be kick ass. Anyway, let's head on down to the, the desk cam guys for you guys to have an up close personal look at Admiral Rampart. So let's head on down to the desk cam. <laughs> It's time for Admiral Rampart to be added to the collection. Look how awesome this guy is. He just looks so awesome. I really like him, actually. I really like the look of him now. He's growing on me. Before, I kind of got him, and I was like, yeah, I just want him I wanted him to add just another Imperial face, like another officer. But as I've been playing with him, I do actually like him more and more, actually. Um, his little pistol's nice as well. Very good. And uh, yeah, I'm loving all the little detailings on his armor and things. It looks so good. Well painted. No issues here with paintwork flaking or anything. Haven't really found any issues with paintwork on this figure at all. It's actually really well done. There's a few little bits like there's bits of loose plastic around the knees. You see a little bit of excess plastic there, excess plastic here. Again, these just flake off over time or you can just sand them down. Um... But yeah, it, it, the the figures themselves look very nice, and they they really have done a nice job painting them. Sometimes you do get that you know white in the red, sorry, like like the colours bleeding into one another, but not on this one. Very well done. I know sometimes it can vary from figure to figure, but mine's actually really nice. And yeah, he's a great addition to the collection to have as well. With him being an Imperial officer, we don't get many Imperial officers, so like I said before, it's nice just to add him to the collection overall. And then of course we've got our little MSE droid, and I am really happy to have this guy. He's so cool. Let me just move him to one side because I think the camera's struggling. <coughs> and there he is, guys. Look at that. Loving all the little chips in his paintwork and stuff makes him look like he's been a working droid. And as well, with him being a little bit all like metallic-y, rustic-y looking, uh, when you place him on like a sandy background like this, it looks like he's been there a while and he's kind of, you know, battle-worn, desert-worn, whatever you want to call it. Weather-worn. But he does come with little wheels, so you can you kind of roll him around as well. He will actually move and roll. Not not very well on the uh, cobbles on here, may I just add, but if we go ahead and place him on my actual desk, and you can see he rolls really well. <laughs> so yes, finally a little MSE droid to add to my collection. I can't wait to show you guys the shelf and add him to it. But yes. Vice Admiral Rampart, a great figure, worth picking up, guys. So let's add these two to the shelves while we're at it. Let's show you. So I think I think I showed you in the last video where Rampart's gonna go. 
Oh, my leg. The rampart's just going to go right here next to Tarkin. Nice. And then, if I come up here, you can see all my little droids. And I'll probably place him probably just here. Phew. Little MSE droid added to the droid shelf. And baby Yoda. <laughs> nice. So guys, what are your thoughts on this figure? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe. But let's head on back to the main cam and finish off this video. Guys, what are your thoughts on this figure? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's review, then please be sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us. It really helps us out and helps us to keep making awesome videos like this. So guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Superstar, and I'll see you in the next video. But until then, may the force be with you. Bye! Sorry, Joe, that's still getting used to my programming! We do hey. hope you enjoyed your total hey. video and will come back soon.